So people often ask me, why do you paint storms? Um, it's basically, it's my favorite thing to paint. I paint other things and draw other things, but storms are my most favorite thing to paint, probably what I've painted the most. And um, so I want to do a little illustration of why I paint storms. So if we really think about it, every single one of us are caught in a storm at one time or another in our life. And maybe our whole life feels that way. And when we're in that storm, we're rowing and rowing and rowing to try to get away from that storm. And maybe to get away from the storm of life, you try to work real hard and figure you get a lot of money and you'll be able to solve those problems. Or if you could just find the right mate or the right relationship that that person will complete you and things will get better in life. Or maybe you try to go to church a whole lot and you figure if I just go to church, I do the right things, things will get better. Or sometimes people go to drugs or alcohol to try to squash the pain of the storm. And what I think is cool that people don't often think about is that God created the world without storms. The way God created the world was filled with peace and love, joy, all these things that are kind of like a tropical island or like a safe harbor. Why we have these storms and why we're not still just hanging out in this peaceful, loving environment is because of our rebellion. We rebelled against God, or the Bible calls that word sin. So we sinned against God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. So the the payment for our sin is death, or that separation being caught in that storm. But God sees us in that storm, and he sends a rescuer. And that's his part. God sent his son, Jesus, as a perfect sacrifice for our sin, because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. So Jesus comes, and he dies on the cross to pay for that sin. He pays that cost for us. And then he rises from the dead three days later to prove to us and prove to the world that he says who he said he was. That he was the son of God who came to defeat death. So instead of trying to row against storms uh, the way we think with, with money or relationships or religion or drugs, we can turn away from that and we can follow Jesus and make him king of our heart. The Bible says if we repent with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and make him king of our life, we'll be saved. We'll be saved from that storm. And when you make Jesus king of your heart, it says that we're made right in God's sight. And we get to walk with him as a new creation with a life that has been forgiven of sin and reconciled with God. And this is why I paint storms. Because once you are reconciled with God, we are commanded or instructed to go back into the storm and tell people about how to be rescued, to tell people about Jesus. So I want to paint storms, not to celebrate the storm, but to celebrate the one who can conquer the storm and who can rescue us out of the storm. Because for me, when I encounter storms, it reminds me of how powerful the one who overcomes the storm is, not to be overwhelmed by the storm itself. So I hope that encourages you and hope encourages you to kind of think about if you're in a storm, if you've encountered storms and, and, and hardships in life, are you trying to row out of it yourself? Are you trying to do things to get out of it yourself? Are you putting your trust in following the one who created the ocean and the earth and the waves and can calm those? If you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you more about it. Hit me in the comments below. But I uh, hope that encourages you this week. Thanks a lot.